Today I'm looking at a new lens from Sandmark. It's their microscope lens. Now I have their whole collection, the new telephoto, wide lens, and anamorphic, which I will be reviewing soon and including them in my big comparison video between the different brands. But today we're looking at the microscope lens. And I'm using a 15 Pro Max, and so I've got a case here. I really like the way Sandmark packages their products. Nice box and a nice case. Has MagSafe, and it's a rubberized case, and then this is hard plastic. And so it's pretty light, which I do like. Some cases can get kind of heavy, and this seems robust, but not overly robust like some of the ones that are metal. Metal can be great, but then it makes it less of an everyday carry type of case. So I've got my 15 Pro Max. Here's the case. Fits nice and snug. And here is the microscope lens. Comes with its own case, zipper pouch, Another bag inside, which is nice. And then it has a carabiner for clipping this onto a backpack or what have you. And then it has a USB-C charging cable because this lens has a light in it. Oh, and it also has a clip in here. If you wanted to mount that to a phone that you don't have a case for. I like using a case though. Got a microfiber cloth and then the lens itself very light. I do like the feel of it. It's super lightweight. Has a back lens cap and a front lens cap. And then that is the light around there. All right, this isn't charged. And so I'll go charge that. And we'll take a look at some footage here in a minute. But the reason you need a light is it's because it's a 40 times macro and you put the lens flat against an object. So you lose exposure. But before I charge it, we'll mount it to the actual case. Now I noticed my lenses were a little bit smudgy and they are, so take this microfiber, clean the iPhone lenses. And this will work on the 24 millimeter or the five times telly. This is again, a 15 Pro Max. And you just screw it on and now you're good to go besides charging it. All right, the lens is now charged. And so what you do is you click this button and when you click it once, you get one light level. You click it again, you get a brighter light level. So you got two settings. For most things, I find the first setting, the one that's not as bright is fine because sometimes I found that you can see the LED in the reflection. So you just wanna be careful depending on what you're shooting. And in particular with anything reflective. And so to use this microscope lens, you actually have to put it up against the object. Right here, I'm in front of a screen window. And so I press it up against the actual screen. And then I'm using the native camera app and I'm just taking a raw photo using the 24 millimeter lens and that's the 48 megapixel sensor. And so you get some really high-end photos with this stylized look. But what about video?
I've been shooting my video with just standard 4K 24 frames per second. But one thing I wanted to try was shooting 4K 60. And so I used the Blackmagic camera app and then I slowed down the 60 frames per second in post to 24. And so I'm getting a 40% slow-mo look. So overall, I think this microscope lens is really pretty cool. Now it's definitely specialized, it's more niche. It is macro to the extreme. And so how often would I use it? I'm not sure about that. But when you need this kind of shot, it's great to have. For me, I like using macro in my movies and I even use my iPhone to do macro shots when using other type of cameras because number one, it's just much easier to do. And number two, now with shooting Apple Log, the quality is very good. And so this could be a good option for that. So if you're interested in one of these lenses, I've got links in the description. Thanks for watching. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.